CDC says tuberculosis cases spiking in U.S. since 2022. What else has spiked in America since then? <laughs> right? Um, we all know what the answer is that. The answer to that is that is uh, the influx of illegal immigrants coming in these, into this country because of Joe Biden following George Soros open borders policy. We have an influx of illegal um, illegal immigrants coming into this country, bringing all types of diseases uh, that we thought were eradicated, like tuberculosis. Um, so we're going to talk a little bit about that. But before we get started, go ahead and hit that like button. Share this out so we can get this information out there. Subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. And hit that alarm bell so you know when I'm putting out new stuff. Also, check out my link tree in the description. It has a link to my Patreon. That's where I talk about things I can't talk about here. There's also a link to my Instagram in my merch store. Also, check out jjthepsychotherapist.com for news as well. All right, let's talk about this news. Now, this comes from the Red State, um, from Ward Clark, and he reports that on Thursday, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention in Atlanta, Georgia, announced that, 20, the 20, that 2023 saw a spike in the number of diagnosed tuberculosis cases in the United States. The spike wasn't tremendous, but given the nature of tuberculosis and its transmissibility, it's a matter of serious concern. The number of U.S. tuberculosis cases in 2023 was the highest in a decade, the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention has announced. The CDC said on its website Thursday that, quote, overall cases increased from 800 um, 8,320 8, in 2022 to 9,615 in 2023, an increase of, of 1,295 cases. The rate also increased from 2.5 2 per 100,000 persons in 2022 to 2.9 in 2023. It added nothing that numbers were, um, noting that numbers were up among all age groups. Data from the agency shows nearly 10,000 infections in 2023. CDC officials expected TB numbers would rise, but the 2023 count quote was a little more than was that of them was expected. Dr. Philip LeBeau, uh, director of the agency division of tuberculosis eliminations, told the Associated Press. But I can I will surmise that by the end of 2024, when the numbers come out it'll be even more worse because the we are getting even uh, even more of an influx of illegal immigrants from all over the world it's not just south america they're coming over from all over the world because there's a big open sign at the border saying wide open come on in so people are just pouring into the border we've never seen numbers like this before so we i can guarantee when the numbers come out for tuberculosis next year it's going to be I wouldn't be surprised if it's even double the numbers we see now. But while it's important to note that correlation does not equal causation, there is nevertheless another phenomenon in the United States that has increased since 2022. Indeed, uh, since January of 2021, illegal immigration. That's, that's basically what I've been alluding to. The CDC is silent on the sources of the new infections, but it's not a great stretch of imagination that among millions of immigrants, Many from third world countries, some will be carrying pathogens. The CDC goes on to say, quote, although TB in, in incidence in the United States is among the lowest in the world and most U.S. residents are at minimal risk, TB continues to cause substantial global mobil uh, mobility and uh, mor mortality, um, the CDC says, calling it one of the world's leading infectious disease killers. Tuberculosis has vexed mankind since there has been mankind to be troubled by it. Historical figures from Elizabeth Barrett Browning to John Harvard to John Henry Doc Holliday have uh, perished from the consumption. It's still a problem over much of the globe. The World Health Organization releases annual um, releases annually a review of TB cases, and it's revealing the top five nations for tuberculosis cases lists. Um, listed in the most recent report are Cambodia, Sierra, Sierra Salone, Bangladesh, North Korea, and Pakistan, with Russia and China coming in at the top, top 10. And wow, that's big. I did not know Russia and China had a um, ton of tuberculosis cases like that. Um, interestingly, no Latin American countries come in on the list of nations of greatest concern, but 
U.S. Customs and Border Protection informs us that the fastest growing group of illegal border crossers is Chinese nationals. Y'all know I've done tons of videos talking about how the Chinese Chinese illegals are coming into this country. Again, correlation does not equal causation. Regardless, this is a serious issue. Tuberculosis has killed millions throughout human history. And the CDC again warns us there are strains of tuberculosis that are resistant to a range of antibiotics normally used to treat the disease. It's not unreasonable to expect the Biden administration to, at very least, begin screening for transmissible diseases among hordes, the hordes entering the country illegally. Not that this would help with the numbers that slipped in undetected. There are many good arguments for getting control of our borders, including this new troubling increase in a very serious disease. And like all the other good arguments for getting control of our borders, this is another one that the Biden administration will ignore. And they have been ignoring all of this stuff. They're pretending like the border is not a big deal. Um, every once in a while, they might mention the border, but they're not. he's not doing anything about it when he simply could do an executive order like Trump did to gain control over our border. But um, let me know what you think. Leave your comments down below. Like, share, and subscribe, and check out jjthepsychotherapist.com for the latest in news. Until next time.